Have you ever heard this extraordinary story? Nothingness has three acts. What is thought? Why are you able to think? What is the origin of human thinking? はい、どうもこんにちは。えー、今回もですね、無についてですね、はい、お話しします。えー、まあ、感度の高い人であればですね、この世界はですね、本質的には何もない無であるということが分かっていると思います。はい、ですね。People with good sense know that this world is essentially nothingness. So why did the universe come into being in this nothingness? Incredible, but there are three acts of nothingness. Nothingness transformed itself into the nature of spirit and then gave birth to thought in order to understand why it became nothingness. In a nutshell, a collection of thoughts is nothingness. In anthropomorphic terms, nothingness generated thoughts in an attempt to realize why it became nothingness. The creation of thought serves to recall that the substance of nothingness itself is, after all, nothingness. Any thought is a thought recalling that the true self is ultimately nothingness, and in each of these thoughts there is a visualized world. When the life forms in the world see something, their thoughts can be experienced as a spatial expanse. Not only the spatial expanse, but also the flow of time can be experienced within it. The people living in it experience the world of time and space. Thereafter, stories appear in the minds of sentients because there exists the basic script of nothingness, and essentially speaking, every story of living things serves for the nothingness to recall why it became vacuum. There are countless sentient creatures in this world, and each and every one of them plays the role of nothingness in thought, and thus the nothingness, which is the essence of existence, understands why it became nothingness and recalls who it was originally. However, the people of this world have always lacked an awareness of that. This world exists in order for nothingness to conceive of what it is. To fulfill, to fulfill this for the sake of nothingness is called Buddha Dharma. It means to become the past life of nothingness. In this process, you must firstly be liberated. When you are liberated, the essence of nothingness remembers that it used to be human. After it was liberated, it became nothingness. When you become liberated and become nothingness, you are the past life of nothingness. In other words, this is devotion to God, the righteousness of the kingdom, or justice and righteousness itself. Such a person is called Shōjōshu in Buddhism. A Shōjōshu is a person who is destined to become a Buddha. Therefore, liberation is important as the first step. So, in a nutshell, conception was created for the nothingness to remind the self what it is. From our point of view as dwellers of the world of form created within thought, we experience a temporal and spatial expansion. This also allows, a, this also allows one to experience a story.
そしてストーリーとして体験できて、その中であなたが下脱してあげると、本質的、ラムが、あ、そっか、僕は過去に人間だったんだけど、下脱してあげる。When you are emancipated, the nothingness will remember that it became nothingness because of liberation. Oh, I was a human being in the past, but I became nothingness because I became liberated. This means that you become a past life of God. So there is where the idea, everything living is God, comes from. So I have now explained two aspects of nothingness. Now let's go to the third one. The third one is the perspective from which you are able to realize the two aspects I have just described. It is the perspective of enlightenment. この視点を悟りって言いますね。はい。この仕組みを悟ったことを悟りって言います。ですから悟った視点と、無はなんで自分は無なんだろうっていうふうに思い出そうとして思考を So, to make it clear, let me summarize again. Nothingness creates thoughts in order to remember why it became nothingness. Then, becoming a human life in time and space, it realizes why it became nothingness. Lastly, it sees these two acts and realizes the mechanism. あるわけですね、はい、これをですねお釈迦様はですね仏法僧は三密体の無であるとこういうふうに言いましたと。This is what b u d h a meant when he said that 仏法僧 nothingness, dharma and tathagata are united and are a trinity of nothingness.The core of what I have just said is described in chapter 15, lifetime of tathagata.それぞれの世界においてそれぞれ異なる如来として自分別それぞれの自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の The Tathagata takes disciples and liberates, liberates them. Liberated disciples become nothingness, and with the initiation of Tathagata, they cause big bangs. Thus, thoughts are created infinitely, and innumerable worlds are created. In the new worlds, all the living sentients are liberated in the same way. So ultimately, all the sentience become the past life of the nothingness. It is the greatest devotion to God that every living being should become a past life of nothingness. Nothingness. It is the Buddha Dharma. With the perspective of understanding these three acts, three operational aspects, Buddha descended to this world of the three realms, and then he made Shravaka, who had not yet attained liberation, into disciples, liberated them, and created a past life of nothingness. This is devotion to nothingness, devotion to God, or in terms of Christ, living for the kingdom and its righteousness. 
Thus, if you followed this law, you will, given, will, you will be given more than enough clothes, food, and other necessities. This is not something that only special people do, but that all ordinary people are to do. It is the backbone of all the stories of the world within the thought. It is the basis, and this is what Tathagata teaches us. ですからですね、普通の下脱した人たちは下脱するところは無の可能性になったということなので、これがこの、えー、と思考の中にある我々の世界もそうですけど、ストーリーの気味気になってます。The point is that nothingness is not just nothingness, but that nothingness exists through three acts. The Tathagata, who descends to the human world, realizes That the threefold world is created by three acts of nothingness. This is the, this is the realization of the Tathagata. ここの3つの際はあると。これを3回っていうと。はい。要するに、無っていうのは、Therefore, accompanying this realization, Tathagata takes disciples and carries out the activity of liberating those who have not yet been liberated and helping them become a past life of nothingness. Also, the Tathagata befriends those who have not yet become disciples. For example, by receiving arms from them. ところがこのその世界は大体まあインチキ宗教だとか物欲にまみれた独裁者とかそんなものが来るっていうのはいっぱいいるんでその中からでも縁のあるものを集めて停止にして下脱させてあげるのは However, the world is usually full of false religions, greedy dictatorships and such madness. As a Buddha, It is a difficult task to gather those who are connected to Buddha, make them disciples and help them deliberate themselves. So even after enlightenment, Buddha and Christ were not very sure whether or not to do this work. This is what the Tathagata thinks about even after he is liberated. お釈迦様はブッダがやでそれを悟ったと。で、イエスはヒマラでそれを悟った。Well, that's about all for today. Nothingness is made up of three acts, and realization of these three act nothingness is the enlightenment of the Tathagata who has descended into the three dimensional world. Buddha realized it in Bodhgaya. And Jesus understood it in the Himalayas. In the case of Jesus, there was an anticipated scenario where he was going to be killed and come back to life. So he was surprised to discover his altered destiny. Yes, greatly surprised. But he undertook his role. So, in the case of Jesus, the Christ was going to be killed and come back to life. So he was surprised to discover his altered destiny. Through these deeds, the civilization that originated from Buddha and Christ was born. The flow of time was born, and humanity was born into that civilization. Yes, this is how the mechanism of the universe works. Well, have you understood? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.